plastic mistakes. This is like a blooper reel of travel. I wish I could give you the really dumb mistakes that I've seen over 25 years. <laughs> They're really dumb, but these are things that I'm going to share with you that really are, at the end of the day, nobody else's fault except your own. And people get caught on them all the time. So the first one is your hotel is near city center. At least you believe what is what is written about. And so often it's not. You need to Google map and find out what's around it. Is it actually close to the attractions you want to see or is it like half an hour outside and it's going to cost you 50 bucks right. to get into the town. So this make sure you like do that. Finding a place Simple to rent stuff. or buy where they're making the home sound amazing yes. and you need to go see it. Oh right. And my favorite website for that is oyster.com. Have you ever heard of it where it's the actual picture that is being out there for you know the the hotel is actually right. shown versus, versus the real deal. deal versus huh? the real deal good one okay. yeah and the good next tip. mistake is waiting too long to book okay so many times i hear people say oh i'm gonna wait it's gonna it's gonna drop it's gonna drop okay for anything <laughs> that's over a holiday or a long weekend it doesn't. It sells out before it ever goes on sale, and you end up paying way more money. So this only works if you're really flexible on where it is you want to go and the type of hotel you want to stay in. So I recommend at least 21 to 34 days prior. That's the ideal booking window, mm -hmm. and it's not just me. Kayak also says that, so it's coming from a reputable source. Um, not using full insurance coverage or not getting full insurance coverage, and we've seen lots of stories on this. It's whether you're renting a car or whether you're going away. At a minimum, everybody, make sure you get emergency medical. Now, you might be covered on your credit card. You might be covered by your employer plan. Just make sure it has enough coverage. A lot don't. Only maybe up to 100000 or it may cover mm. just you and not the person you're traveling with and or your kids. This so. is serious. We've done stories on Canadians who, you know, women who are pregnant and that they're away out of country mm -hmm. and they end up with a fifty hundred thousand dollar bill starting the child. Oh, it's just, you got to be insane. careful. It's insane. And it's, not, it's always for the unexpected. Yeah. Nobody yeah. expects to step on a piece of coral and cut your foot and need stitches. Right and it costs you two grand. Yeah. So that's what it's for. Yeah. Okay, the next we should, one. Uh, go upstairs and talk to benefits after this. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, Find out. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, okay, so following guidebooks. Okay, I think that guidebooks have their place. Really good for ideas um, and, and what to do, where to go, but just don't over plan. A lot of the guidebooks will give you what to do in 48 hours. And if you try and do that, killing yourself, <laughs> you're coming home going, okay, what the heck have I ever done? So I still feel like word of mouth is the best thing. So if you know some Somebody who's been, you trust their judgment. Please ask for the recommendations on where to eat, what to do, ask where to stay. Ask the person next to you on the plane. That's what I did recently, yeah. and he hooked me up. Actually, I showed him your list and said, "This is what my friend says I should do." And he said, "This lady knows what she's talking about." Oh yeah, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> um, the next one is fearing the local food. So okay. I'm saying this with some trepidation because there are obviously some places if it doesn't look clean, you don't want to be eating there. But if you're in New York and people are lining up for the halal, you oh. want to go there because the halal guys are great. Or here in Vancouver, Japa Dog, you want, to, yeah. you want to enjoy it. So don't really fear it that much. Okay, do we have time for some deals? Yeah, let's do it. We've got a okay. 